Hi, this is Sam and this is another Pergeos tutorial. So in this tutorial, we're covering a very exciting topic called creating a recipe. So what a recipe allows you to do is it allows you to automate processes that you've already done. So you can do it on multiple other parts of it or on a bigger data set. And it can be done completely unsupervised and it will just do exactly what you've done on whatever other data you have. So to start to create a recipe, I'm starting out with, if you click right in the center of the screen, it will take you back to the last tutorial. I expect you to have done that. And now I'm here with right after that tutorial and I'm just working. And I've done that once, but let's say I want to do it to something else. So with this, recipes allow you to do that. So to start with this, we're going to click this little beaker icon and we're going to create a new recipe. So we can create a recipe from any of these points. We can create a recipe from there by just right clicking on it. We can click recipe to just segment it. And if we want to go all the way to analysis, which is what we want to do, we're going to create recipe from the u.measure. So we're going to click create recipe. And as you see, this little panel appears right here and it shows us all the different parts that we did to get to the sub-plug view.measure. So the first thing I recommend you do is you save the recipe. And I would just say, I'm just going to save it on my desktop and to call it calculate porosity. Okay, so now that I have saved it, I'm going to just run it and show you guys what it does. So to run it, you just click this one button. So it'll just calculate all of these and just go through all of them without doing anything else. Like it just, we'll just run through all these different ones. Okay, so now it's done. And we can see what it's done and we can see the volume and it's created a new one, this Brea Slug U2. But let's say, it's a different one and the segmentation is different. So to add like a breakpoint in where you can change it, you can just click on this button and if it has this black dot in the center, it will stop there and allow you to change it. It only works with blocks because they're the only ones with settings to change. So now when I run this, let's see what happens. So it stops and tells me, do you wanna run the medium filter? And I can choose the interpol and I'm just going to choose 3D for this one. And then I just click continue. And it's going to continue to the next part. It's going to do that, that, and then it just goes to here. And now in the interactive overlay threshold, I can change this to maybe do the other side like this. And then I can just keep it going. See? And now I can change this to be interpretation 3D or XY, I'm just going to change it to XY for this example. And it keeps going on. And it created just a new one. Three. Rare slug plug view three. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to, I'm going to now close Progeos and I'm going to open it up again. Or I'm just going to, next I'm just going to create a new Progeos project. I'm just going to discard all of these. And now I'm going to open up some more new data. So we're going to go up here. We're going to click on open data. We're going to go to tutorials. And we're going to go to onto centerglass.am. So notice this one has a very different composition than the other one. So if I look right here, the calculate porosity is still there. And if it isn't, you can always just open it, navigate it to your desktop, and it's just right there. All right, so now I'm going to run this. So I, yes, I want to do a median filter. So I'm just going to continue on. And it's processing it. And now it's going to the third part, the interactive overlay. So I am going to choose a very different threshold, I think. I think this is probably a good one. All right, so then I just click and it will keep going on and we'll calculate the porosity and Let's continue it. We're just going to keep the interpretation 3D. 
and we see the porosity of the sinting glass dot measure. So if you want it to show you each of these steps and give you each of the data after filtering after segmentation, you can go to options, preferences, and you can click recipes remove intermediate data or not. All right, thanks so much for watching this Pergeos tutorial. I really hope you liked it. Please comment, like, sub dislike, subscribe. I would like to hear any new ideas for topics you would like me to cover, have, and have a nice day.